the width is like that. It has the width that way. And then, because a snake can open up this way, uh, there's no restriction, but it has a restriction this way. So a python can only open up so much, but if a creature's got a triangular head, it's got far more width to... And these things, I have to tell you, are in Africa. But the, you know something that's very strange? And I don't know why. You don't ever hear of them in modern times in Africa. I don't know why. I think possibly it's because Africa, even though it's vast and extensive, I think there's people all over the place in um, Africa. And I'll tell you something else too. I was, I was looking at a, a confluence in, of the Nile, uh, the Nile. There was a confluence where a river actually came down and joined the Nile. And I thought, that'd be a great place for a snake where this river joins the Nile. No, it wouldn't. It's all agri agricultural. All these people have built farms and they take advantage of the, of the Nile and built little canals to irrigate their crops. The Nile is no good for one of these creatures anymore. There's too many people over there. Do you understand that? I understand, yeah. You know, it's only places that are remote. And I must say, if villages keep on increasing the way they are in the Amazon, this place where it's at now would not be there because they'll eventually uh, take that over too. People are taking over the planet. And, and the loggers are moving. Is, I don't think the loggers have moved in there yet. But what, what are you, your thoughts on what might have happened in the last ten years since the last photographic evidence? Well, do you think it's changed? I have much? to tell you that I, 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 I'm only guessing, but I have to make an educated guess. Now, there's, it's got one of two things that could have happened. Right? Uh, and I think number one, I'll give you number one, which is one I favor. This creature was ease baiting in the jungle uh, outside Nuvataka and probably would be ease baiting from 1997 right to this day. If it hadn't been for the fact, for some unknown reason, supernatural or whatever, it was roused from its slumber. And it was awful annoyed. It got out of there and went down the river, possibly, which I think it did, to that place where you see the marks, right? However, there is another possibility, which is your, it's more in line with what you think. And that is that, I find it very difficult to believe, but, it's possible that either this one that came out of Nubatacna was a female and not quite developed to the point that uh, it's developed at right now, 10 years, 10 or 11 years later, or it's a male. And I hardly doubt it's a male because the Bible actually speaks about Leviathan as a female. But if that creature that came out of Nuvatagna was a male, then the one down there at that uh, confluence is one hell of a big snake, far bigger than we ever thought. So if you take a snake that is uh, 40 meters and multiply that by... Oh, here she is. Hold on. Here we go. Hello? How are you doing, sweetheart? Do you know why? I'll tell you why. That son of mine's got me run off my feet. Why? I've been out, I've got uh, a yellow fever jab today. Been out picking up uh, clothes. I've been out doing, you know, running here and there all over. And I just haven't had time. And as a matter of fact, you saying that I did bring you. 
If you check your phone, you'll see dial one four seven one, and my number. It'll come. It'll, this is unlisted, so it'll say an unlisted number. The number wasn't given, but I did dial. I did phone you. Where were you tonight? Were you out with your boyfriend? Oh right. All oh, right. Okay. Where were you? I'm only joking. Where were you? No, we're, uh, we got to book the tickets now, and uh, we were in, uh, we, just, we were just all over, right? uh, just running here and running there all over the day, you know, you can only do so much, and we didn't get it all done either, you know, because I've got to go to, uh, we've got a problem, I'll tell you what it is, um, the Dr. Thompson was quite concerned, I don't know whether you know this or not, but about, i say, let's see, it must have been about three or four months ago, some woman got bit by a monkey in Africa, and only in the past month she died. Now, she died of rabies. Now, rabies apparently, we, I didn't know this, it's not curable. Once you get bit by a rabid dog, you, that's it, you know. Right. Yeah. So the Dr. Thompson was was confirmed was concerned about uh, me getting uh, both of us actually getting uh, rabies shots. Now the only problem with it is this: is that you get so many shots. I don't know, like two, three, four. I don't know how many shots you get, but anyway, at the very, very most. We can only get two because we don't have the time anymore. So we've only got, we can only get one. I need to get, hopefully, if he can give us the shots, I would have to get one this week. And then I think it's another two or three weeks you get another shot. But the point is, it's only a partial vaccination. So if I come home by Chamonix, you'll know what the problem is. 